So what makes a gaming phone? Razer has posed that question and has created a brand new uh, segment in the mobile industry. Now the Razer Phone 2 this year aims to do much better than what the original Razer Phone does. And for the most part, it actually does it quite well. Hi guys, Thunder E here and welcome to our gaming review of the Razer Phone 2. So what makes this device different, unique, and sets it apart? First off, let's talk about design. So the Razer Phone 2 has done a few things different from last year's Razer Phone. Now granted, when you look at them side by side, they look the same, uh, but there are differences clearly to this device. Uh, first off, you've got that 5.7 inch display, which is 120 hertz. What that means is that your refresh rate is just so much higher. When you're gaming with this and you see the games, they look really, really vivid. No other phone, no other smartphone has this type of display. And that is something that I really like with this, especially if you're thinking as a gamer. You also have those two front firing speakers. Yes, they are massive. They make it look like they're thick bezels and gives it a very rectangular shape and look. But what you have with those are speakers that are improved this year, hitting at almost 105 decibels. And yes, we actually did that test and we compared it to other phones. You can go check out that video. But here's just a quick sample for you guys to take a listen to how loud the Razer Phone 2 really is. So the speakers are loud. Uh, you've got Dolby Atmos built in. You've got a few Dolby Atmos settings, but there are a few other things to this device as well. Now it's powered by a Snapdragon 845 processor uh, and comes with eight gigs of RAM. So as a gamer, you've got as much there as possible. Expandable storage via micro SD in there. And you've got a device that really cranks it up. You can actually customize your gaming experience, which means you can go into each and every game and customize how fast you want your refresh rate on the display to be, um, how much uh, CPU power you want to use from this processor. So you can crank all these things all the way up for every single game because it's built into the software, which runs really smooth and effective. And speaking of that software, this is running Nova Prime Launcher, which means, look, you know what? So many people love Nova, Nova Launcher out there, and it's great to see that Razer is using this and not trying to create something on their own, and it does a really good job here. Now, the apps that they have, including that Chroma app, work really well. And why do you have a Chroma app on this device? Clearly, simply put, because you've got that Razer logo at the back, which you can use for customized lighting for your notifications, or just so it can be really cool and your friends can see it on the table and it just glows. I like that. I wish I was there in the first Razer phone, but I'm glad they actually brought it in here. Now you're saying Thunder E. You know what? You've said a lot about the phone, but we want to see games. That's the main thing here. How well does it handle games? So I'm going to play a couple of games for you so you can actually see it, you can hear it, and then we'll finalize how well this device does as a gaming phone, plus also the camera. So gaming on this device is really, really solid. It does some things really well and some things not so much. 
Now, in terms of just the gaming performance, the refresh rate on that display, uh, the way the games handle, playing games at highest uh, resolution or performance levels, it does that excellently. Now, this device also runs rather warm for my liking. Um, but I will put this caveat here though. The times where it really heated up the most was when I cranked my CPU settings to the max, cranked my refresh rate uh, settings to the max as well, and turned on anti-aliasing on this. So of course, I think I really pushed it as far as possible. Now, Razer did say they have a new cooling system, which works fairly well when you're running on basic normal settings. So that is something to take note, but I will say though, it does still run rather warm for my liking uh, on this device, especially with the glass back, uh, the glass back you have on this device. It feels like, you know, it just tends to heat up just a little bit more than it should. But that being said though, gaming on here is really good. The speakers are really loud, they're clear, and you get the kind of gaming performance you expect from a device like this. Now, Razer said this is the phone for gamers, but of course, this is a phone that has a lot of pro level features. So it's got water resistance, dust resistance, IP, IP rating right there. You also have wireless charging. Now, of course, Razer has its own wireless charging dock that has chromolite on it, as you would expect, and it looks really nice. It works really well. You can charge your smartphone. You can also charge other devices with it. And I think it's solid. It's something to add if you're a Razer fan or uh, you like those chroma colors all the way through. Now, another addition, or at least another accessory to talk about is also the headphones. They have the brand new USB Type-C headphones. It costs about 99 bucks. And I have to say, and I really have to throw this in there, is that these are probably one of the best USB Type-C headphones I have used. They sound really good. Uh, audio reproduction is really solid. The built-in DAC also works really well. So you've got some really clean, clear audio coming from this thing. And also if you're a bass fan, the bass reproduction is really good on these pair of headphones. Now I would say these are probably the first pair of USB Type-C headphones I will fully recommend. I know, right? I know, USB Type-C. But they sound really good, so I can't doubt that. Now let's move on to the final piece here, which would be the camera. Now Razer has a brand new camera system, dual camera setup on the back, 12 megapixels. Uh, and I have to say, uh, with the current update they just pushed out, the camera does give you some, some solid photos, not the greatest, but some solid photos all the way through. I think it's nice. Uh, I think it can still be improved. They're using a brand new Sony sensor, but I'll leave you here with just a quick sample from the front facing camera in terms of video and the rear camera so you see how that looks. Okay, so I'm recording with the front-facing camera of the Razer Phone 2, and we'll switch to the rear, but I wanted to give you guys an example of what you get with the video, especially after the update, the OTA update that came through. Uh, I decided to hold that off for a bit. Uh, you see how well it manages and holds and all that fun stuff, but we'll switch over to the rear camera. All right, so this is the rear camera. It's shooting in 4K. The front was 1080p. I see a noticeable improvement uh, from some of the photos I took uh, over the weekend, I was at the Kota tracks uh, watching Formula One racing. But you get an idea, I can switch the zoom to 2x, that's 2x zoom, and that's 1x zoom back again. Uh, Pan of the City, of course, that is one wall trade. We've got Empire here, we've got Queens down there in that area. And it gives you a good idea of what you're getting. And if we kind of pan over, you can see moving closer to objects and we can kind of do that 2x zoom here and that gives us this so there you have it guys that is the razor phone in a nutshell or rather this long video i apologize but i will tell you this as a gamer you will like the razor phone in terms of gaming performance you can maximize it to the highest by cranking up the cpu by cranking up the refresh rate and also your anti-aliasing to give you the best performances you want Audio is really rich from the speakers as well. And you have a device that really kicks it to the highest degree. And I think gamers will like that. It does run warm a little bit, but I think it's something you can definitely deal with. There are a bunch of cool accessories that come with it. Also, the camera is, is actually gives you some really decent performance. I think overall, Razer has hit the marks that it wants to with this device. And if you're a gamer looking for something that fits your needs, the Razer Phone 2 is definitely worth picking up. 
So if you have any questions or any comments, let me know. I'll try to answer them for you. Otherwise, guys, don't forget to like and share this video, favorite this video, subscribe to the channel, and always enjoy your entertainment. And this shirt is from Daniel Sin.